Hello, my dear friends. It's lovely to see you again after such a long gap. Really, I got a lot of affection from your side. And that's why I'm here. And in this pandemic condition, it is very, very necessary to meet on this platform. According to your choice today, I am going to introduce Art and Culture module, which is very, very important for civil services or IES exam. As you know, this module is very, very definitely important, particularly in uh, every module, uh, I mean to do every section, even in prelims examination, we are getting how many questions likely to be asked 5 to 10 questions. It means about 10 to 20 marks. Apart from these 5 to 10 questions, every question of ancient India or medieval India also having the need of the knowledge of art and culture. So, it is a very, very important part. And uh, now the term for main examination, in the main examination, the maximum question, apart from main, I mean to say modern India, almost all questions in main examination, almost all questions related to art and culture. About 60 to, 60 to 80 marks, you can say. And all these questions related to main exam definitely needed very mature concept, depth, I mean to say depth in your concept where prelims question also having the conceptual information. देखने में ऐसा भले लगता है कि ये factual question होते हैं, but you should know it. Every question should have conceptual depth. And now the term of essay writing. Even in the essay writing, minimum one essay out of eight, I mean to say four essays in every section. Essay paper having two sections and each section having four options. It may and definitely you will get minimum one essay related to the related to I mean to say to the essence of Indian art and culture. I mean to say essay one essay definitely demand what? The information of Indian art and culture like tourism or tourism is also having the need of information about Indian art and culture, artistic or the area of famous architecture like Taj Mahal or Qutub Minar or Red Fort. So these type of contents related to tourism definitely wants what? The information about the mature ideas about art and culture. It means you will get 125 marks out of 1 to 50. So this is a part जो ये सब पार्ट है वो भी उसमें भी आर्ट एंड कल्चर 
का अगर आपके पास बहुत ही मैच्योर प्रिपरेशन है तो डेफिनेटली वो किसी न किसी तरह से ऐसे में भी हेल्प करेगा ना द टर्म फॉर इंटरव्यू एंड यू शुड नो इट आई मीन टू से इंटरव्यू इन द इंटरव्यू पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सेवरल क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन आर्ट एंड कल्चर कुड बी आस्ड फ्रॉम आर्ट एंड कल्चर करेंट बेस्ड आर्ट एंड कल्चर लाइक एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट in the development of indian economy or the area again the area of tourism and uh, ideas for the development of tourism so definitely these type of questions probable questions will help you in the interview also so the now the term for important contents okay so first of all we are actually uh, we should know about art and culture what was the art in the in brief words or in the very brief we can say in the language of rancho that what about art so i want to say the skills or activity producing something creative matlab aisa kaushal aisa gatividhi jo kuch rachnatmak srijit karta hai srijan karta hai so mera to brief mein yahi iska definition hai ki what about art the skills or activity producing something creative and what about culture again in rancho language beliefs and behavior related to particular region is called culture like our religious beliefs religious faith believing in buddhism jainism or hinduism or christianism or islam in islam or jurastrianism definitely the religion is also the part of our culture very important part of our culture and our behaviors definitely these behaviors are also influenced by our religious beliefs or geographical availability or geographical diversity but no doubt behavior is a very very important part of our culture related to particular region like uh, up punjab bihar haryana haryana culture punjab culture bihar culture or overall india culture or indian culture so behavior behavior like uh, our customs our rituals these are the part of our culture okay now the term for type of art according to me in brief mainly two types of art visual art or performing art many people are saying that the fine art applied art conceptual art all these type of art are also the parts of visual art in fact the parts of visual art so what about visual art again in brief we can say the visual art created by the help of material or goods to express the reality or imagination by the help of material by the help of goods outside goods like uh, brush for painting brush paints or wall or canvas and and 
you can express your imagination by the help of different type of material or goods in architecture you should have a need of stones bricks or other decoration items or interior items so you can say that the visual art definitely we will discuss about the sub topics of visual art or the types of visual arts like painting art or uh, uh, architecture or ceramics okay so yahan pe hum log ye jaan le ki visual art mein kya kya matlab kya hota kya hai visual art mein theek hai ab fine art bhi usi mein aata hai fine art jo painting ho gaya tha drawing ho gaya hmm and uh, applied art mein bhi wahi hai aur वैसे कंसेप्चुअल आर्ट में कहते हैं कि यू हैव टू पेंट और ड्रॉ और क्रिएट समथिंग रिलेटेड टू पर्टिकुलर कंसेप्ट और कोई पहले से कंसेप्ट सोच लेना और फिर उसी के अकॉर्डिंग पिक्चर पेंट करना और ड्रॉ करना लाइक मजनू इन वेलकम ही ड्रीव द पेंटिंग ऑफ ए हॉर्स एंड ए स्मॉल आर्स and uh, said that the big animal can load the uh, 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 a small ass or a small animal so ek bada janwar jo hai chote janwar ka bojh uda sakta hai to bada hi work us mein comedy tha lekin wo concept ki baat kar raha tha concept sochta tha paint banata tha painting banata tha so was very interesting and uh, so the fine art or applied art or conceptual art these are the also the part of visual art and uh, the second one is performing art which can be performed by performed simultaneously without the help of anything or any instrument you should know it music do not jaise ki music le le music or dance i can sing without any instrument or any koi bhi bina material ke ya bina koi instrument ke bhi ga sakte hain jab vedic mantron ko gaate hain when we are chanting the vedic hymns and definitely with rhythm rhyme and notes there is no need of an instrument you should know it music do not have need of any instrument yes it is also true that instrument can produce music i mean to say musical instrument but music do not have need of any help by any material or outside goods abhi hum gana chahe to ga denge simultaneously जो हम लोग गाएंगे जब म्यूजिक का सेक्शन करेंगे तो डेफिनेटली आई विल सिंग द सॉन्ग एंड इन द डांस जेस्टर डेफिनेटली आई विल शो यू द डिफरेंट जेस्टर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्लासिकल डांस ऐसा मत समझना कि मैं यहीं पे परफॉर्म करूंगा बट डेफिनेटली आई विल सी यू आई विल एक्सप्रेस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ जेस्टर of different classical dance or different classical singing or different type of ragas so the performing art is also very very important part okay so hame dono pe concentrate karna hai visual art and performing art okay next yes now the term for visual art definitely actually humne pata hai ki fine art included in the visual art and in the fine art like painting art or pottery 
और अभी तो जैसे पॉटरी आर्ट और आइडल आर्ट और स्टैचू आर्ट और स्कूल ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ आइडल लाइक मथुरा आइडल आर्ट गांधारा आइडल आर्ट विच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड इंडो इंडो ग्रीक आइडल आर्ट और ग्रेको बुद्धिस्ट आइडल आर्ट डेफिनेटली वी विल डिस्कस वेरी exclusively about these idol art about the mathura idol art about the greco buddhist or indo greek or gandhara idol art which is very very important for examination point of view what is the difference between these two and uh, one more idol art is also important amaravati a school of idol art okay and uh, in this section in the pottery art section we have to discuss about the ocp pottery or pgw painted graveware uh, pottery pgw is related to which culture definitely we have to read later vedic culture right and uh, and uh, uh, nbbw the most developed pottery northern black polished ware you know uttri kale polished dar bardband <laughs> okay The NBPW is also very very important for examination. For the NBPW related to Mauryan culture, a very interesting topics <coughs> under fine art. And uh, after this fine art, definitely the term of architecture, architecture in visual art, architecture, and we have to read Arappa architecture, Astupa architecture, or Other Buddhist architecture, Arappa architecture. Actually, we have to read. We should have to read every topic of art and culture, along with different time period of ancient India or medieval India or modern India. It would be very uh, beneficial for the. कंसेप्चुअल डेवलपमेंट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अगर हम साथ साथ पीरियड वाइज पढ़ते हैं डिफरेंट टाइप के आर्ट एंड कल्चर का डेवलपमेंट तो कंसेप्चुअल डेवलपमेंट भी होता है एंड डेफिनेटली मेरा स्टाइल वही है पढ़ाने का ओके और हम पढ़ेंगे भी वैसे ओके सो वी विल डिस्कस हरप्पन डिफरेंट हरप्पन आर्किटेक्चर लाइक इंपॉर्टेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हरप्पा और इंपॉर्टेंट आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ हरप्पा लाइक Granary, Great Bath, Assembly Hall, and uh, and uh, uh, College or Bish College, and uh, uh, one more uh, Dockyard, Godivara of Luthal, Dockyard of Luthal, and ये इस तरह के जो क्वेश्चन हैं अगर जो फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन लगेंगे देखने में वो तो ठीक है प्रिलिम्स के लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है बट मैंने पहले भी कहा कि एवरी फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन नीडेड कंसेप्चुअल कंसेप्ट आई मीन टू से कंसेप्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन एज वेल एज ओके सो वी हैव और मेन में यही क्वेश्चन क्या हो जाएगा द डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ग्रैनरी ग्रैनरी से क्या पता चलता है डेफिनेटली द एंट्रेंस ऑफ एंट्री ऑफ एडवेंट ऑफ सेकेंड टू द थर्ड फेज ऑफ ह्यूमन इकोनॉमी सर प्लस इकोनॉमी ग्रैनरी तो उस तरह के कंसेप्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन की जरूरत होगी मेन के एग्जामिनेशन में कि ग्रैनरी सिम का क्या 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 कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है क्या फीचर्स है क्या क्या वो एविडेंस देते हैं ओके तो डेफिनेटली we have to read arappan architecture and after this we have to read important uh, architecture of uh, uh, or related to buddhism like a stupa architecture is a very very important how many types of a stupa uh, like a sharirik stupa sharirik stupa or paribhogik stupa or उद्देशिका स्तूपा एंड उज्जार्थक स्तूपा सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ स्तूपा 
and the which a stupa is called maha stupa like uh, uh, definitely these are the suspects and we will disclose, disclose in the specified classes okay now the term of uh, and uh, the other buddhist architecture is also important like uh, different buddhist we are and this the different chaitya karli chaitya uchit uh, uh, oh sorry uh, stupid uh, chaitya karli stupid uh, karli chaitya nasik chaitya so and what about the stupid what about the harave well, what about chaitya everything i will discuss in the specify classes okay Now the term for temple architecture. Okay, the temple architecture is also very very important part of our artistic <coughs> activity or artistic achievement. <coughs> temple architecture, the origination of temple architecture, the development period of temple architecture, the Genesis of temple architecture is a part for means means point of view. Even the area, the types of temple architecture, basically three types: Nagara art, Nagara art, Desara art, and uh, Dravida art. Dravida temple architecture, the Nagara temple architecture, Desara temple architecture. the architecture and what what about the reason of nagara temple architecture jammu kashmir to vindhyachal and what about the reason of besara architecture vindhyachal to krishna river and what about the reason of dravida architecture definitely uh krishna river to kanyakumari तो हमें बहुत ही इजी वे में आई मीन टू से सिंपलीफाई मैनर में पढ़ना ओके विथ इंटरेस्टिंग मैनर ओके सो वी हैव टू डू डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स ऑफ टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर और बहुत हाँ बस ये जगति क्या होता है एंड गर्व गिरह आम लक कलश दंड ध्वज डिफरेंट ऑर्गेंस इन डिफरेंट टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर ओके टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर आर्ट एंड कल्चर एंड इज अ वेरी दिस चैप्टर इज अ वेरी मार्क्स पीचिंग even in prelims and uh, mains and uh, maybe in, even in interview ajkal sri ram temple ka bahai acha issue hai abhi sri ram mandir banne ja rahe hain to definitely temple architecture se the question 100% possible mai so this is a very hot uh, topic we can say and now the term for architecture after the advent of islam after the advent of islam we are observing two types of architecture tribal architecture and uh, alphabet architecture what is the characteristics of tribal architecture what is the characteristics of Arcuate architecture and uh, after the synthesization between these two, the result was Indo-Islamic architecture, and we have to read also about uh, different important architectural construction of Delhi Sultanate. I am going to say Kutub Kubatul Islam Mosque or Kutub Minar II. Uh, Lodi Garden, you can say. Okay, and after the end of the Delhi Sultanate, 
we have to read about the Mughal architecture, which was totally different from, or somehow different from, the architecture of Delhi Sultanate. जैसे कि हमने पढ़ा कि आर्की दैरी सल्तनत का आर्किटेक्चर में क्या था इसे जो कॉल्ड इंडो इस्लामिक आर्किटेक्चर ट्राइबियर प्लस आर्कुएट इज कॉल्ड टू इंडो इस्लामिक आर्किटेक्चर बट व्हाट टाइप ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एडेड आफ्टर द एडवेंट ऑफ मुगल सो डेफिनेटली इट वाज डेफिनेटली ट्राइबियर प्लस आर्कुएट प्लस प्रोविंशियल आर्किटेक्चर रिजल्टेड मुगल आर्किटेक्चर so these are the important topics we have to discuss okay yes now the term for architecture of modern india after the advent of european companies as you know the different european companies advented in india in the beginning of modern india or after the last uh, or the end of the modern uh, medieval india we can say portuguese then uh, uh, dutch then uh, british then the De uh, De danish then lastly kaun aaya hai sabse last mein kaun hai france main to kuch aise hi yaad rakhta hu ki beech mein kaun hai britain british company east india company and uh, surrounded by keh sakte hai ki dd and p and it is not p f portuguese dutch then british then danish then french so the portuguese company actually advanced in india and uh, advanced with its uh, architecture that was called iberian architecture okay hum padhenge ki uske kya kya characteristics the क्या क्या फीचर्स थे क्या क्या स्पेशलाइजेशन थे ओके एंड आफ्टर दिस गोथिक आर्किटेक्चर एल्सो आफ्टर द एडवेंट ऑफ यूरोपियन कंपनीज एंड आफ्टर ब्रिटिश इंपॉर्टेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन रिलेटेड टू इंडो रोमन गोथिक आर्किटेक्चर वो इंडियन आर्किटेक्चर गोथिक आर्किटेक्चर रोमन आर्किटेक्चर सबका सिंथिसाइजेशन हो गया ओके okay? तो वो भी पढ़ेंगे जिसमें लुटियन स्टाइल ऑफ जो बिल्डिंग है है ना तो वो सारी चीजें बनी है तो इंडो रोमन गोथिक आर्किटेक्चर इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड लुटियन स्टाइल खासकर की बहुत विशेषता तो मैक्सिमम जो उनको लैंड वो एक्वायर करते थे उसका मैक्सिमम यूज करते थे राउंड शेप के कंस्ट्रक्शन बना करके लाइक सुप्रीम कोर्ट पार्लियामेंट हाउस और प्रेसिडेंट हाउस विक्टोरिया मेमोरियल ओल दीज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके नाउ द टर्म फॉर स्कल्पचर ओके इन द स्कल्पचर सेक्शन एक्चुअली वी हैव टू रीड इवन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर्किटेक्चर एंड स्कल्पचर डेफिनेटली आई विल डिस्कस this important topic in a particular class okay then what a sculpture what type of a sculpture i need to say rock cut a sculpture or stone made a sculpture metal a sculpture rock cut a sculpture like a different type of human a sculpture or animal a sculpture and the entire spoken pillars actually a type of sculpture with human as uh, with animal sculpture like single lion or four lion or animal sculpture with what with bull or with elephant or these pillars actually located at which region or which site these contents are very very important for prelims point of view but the important characteristics of these a sculpture are very very important for main examination point of view okay and the metal a sculpture example of metal a sculpture the bronze idol of nataraj wo kahan se mila hai 
और उसका क्या इम्पोर्टेंस है डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द तांडवा इवन इन द डांस डिफरेंट डांस फॉर्म ओके सो द मेटल स्कल्पचर इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ आवर स्कल्पचर टॉपिक ओके एंड दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्चुअली द रॉक कट केव द रॉक कट केव्स और केव्स आर्किटेक्चर इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट वी विल डिस्कस इन आर्किटेक्चर सेक्शन और इनके जो इम्पॉर्टेंट केव्स लाइक कर्ण चोपला सुदामा की दरी और लोमेश ऋषि एंड एंड वन मोर पान गुरेरिया केव्स दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट केव्स का आर्किटेक्चर और केव्स आर्ट रॉकट आर्ट केव्स आर्ट भी एक रॉकट आर्ट का ही एग्जाम्पल कहा जा सकता है ओके सो वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन दिस सेक्शन एंड अंडर द टॉपिक ऑफ अंडर द सेक्शन ऑफ विजुअल आर्ट ओके नाउ द चैम्प फॉर परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट इन द परफॉर्मिंग अंडर द परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट एक्चुअली वी हैव टू स्टडी About most appreciated topics like uh, music, dance, drama, etc. Okay, then in the music, we have to read or we have to know the origination of music. Like a uh, Sam Veda is the starting point or uh, origination point of music. Kaha jata hai. Even Sam Veda is for the book of music. Okay, so we have to read about uh, different sources of, to know about the music in different time period, about the Vedic age or fourth century AD, fifth century AD, fifth uh, uh, century AD, eighth century AD, ninth century AD, eleventh century AD. Sara, the sources, jitne bhi books hain. वो भी उसको डिस्क्राइब करना है पढ़ना है ओके अंडर द म्यूजिक टॉपिक एंड वी हैव टू रीड अबाउट द क्लासिकल म्यूजिक एंड फोक म्यूजिक एज वेल एज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू एंड अंडर द क्लासिकल म्यूजिक एक्चुअली वी हैव टू रीड अबाउट हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक आर्ट हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक आर्ट music art and carnatic music art carnatic music art important ragas in hindustani music art rag like rag hindol rag malhar rag meg rag sri tal mal kons kis season mein kaun se rag gaye jate hain winter season summer season autumn season spring season sab ke bare mein detail hum log karenge okay <coughs> and in the what is the speciality of carnatic music definitely main usme main aapko dikha dunga ki hindustani music art mein kaise raag hote hain kaise gaya jata hai aur carnatic music mein kaisa aarup avro hota hai everything is very very interesting <coughs> and under the uh, topic of folk music definitely we have to read some regional music which was developed in the particular region or uh, very very interesting no doubt now the term for dance we have to read dance about dance and in this section two division अगेन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक क्लासिकल डांस एंड फोक डांस इसमें हम लोगों को पढ़ना है कि क्लासिकल डांस जैसे देर आर ए टाइप ऑफ क्लासिकल डांस फोर इन नॉर्थ इंडिया फोर इन साउथ इंडिया जैसे कि वेरी मच फैमिलियर अबाउट ऑल क्लासिकल डांस नेम लाइक कथक मणिपुरी असम में सत्तरिया एंड ओडिशी एंड इन साउथ इंडिया भरतनाट्यम कथकली मोहनी अट्टम कुचिपुरी 
दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्लासिकल डांस तब तो ये तो इंफॉर्मेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से पढ़ेंगे और ये फैक्चुअल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से पोट्रोलियम से एग्जाम एंड बट ये भी पढ़ना है कि इन विच वे और द ऑरिजिनेशन ऑफ दीज क्लासिकल डांस और हु वॉज द फाउंडर ऑफ दीज क्लासिकल डांस एंड वाई दीज क्लासिकल डांस डिक्लाइन एंड हु वॉज क्रेडिटेड फॉर द रिवाइवल ऑफ दीज क्लासिकल डांसेस सो a lot of contents we found here okay and the folk dance mein bhi bahut sare jo regional dances hai and jaise chhau hai ya jo bhi hai and martial arts se related bhi dance hai ya dance aisa jo martial art jaisa hai to definitely ye sare jo dances hai wo sab bahut hi interesting way mein padhna hai with proper gesture posture और विभिन्न जो उसकी मुद्राएं हैं जानना है एंड कितने कितने मुद्रा किस में किया होते हैं वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके नाउ द टर्म फॉर लिटरेचर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ट वी हैव टू लर्न अबाउट लिटरेचर एल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके लिटरेचर अंडर लिटरेचर टॉपिक डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू कंसेंट्रेट एट वैदिक लिटरेचर फोर वेदास इट्स ब्राह्मण इट्स आरण्यक इट्स उपनिषद इन ब्रीफ ओके इम्पॉर्टेंट कंटेंट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट वेदास में इम्पॉर्टेंट कंटेंट्स ऑफ वेदा इम्पोर्टेंट कंटेंट्स ऑफ साम वेदा इम्पोर्टेंट कंटेंट्स ऑफ यजुर्वेदा द कंटेंट्स ऑफ अदर वेदा इन वेरी ब्रीफ ओके एंड आफ्टर वैदिक लिटरेचर वी हैव टू रीड अबाउट मॉरियन लिटरेचर और सोर्स ऑफ सोर्सेज ऑफ मॉरियन लिटरेचर यू कैन से and the you know the golden period of literature was definitely the classic age of literature was the age of gupta period and uh, we have to read navaratna in the court of kalidas i will give you some uh, important technique a very uh, easy technique to memorize all these contents okay so don't worry and now the term for literature related to delhi sultanat and mughal after the advent of islam many contents actually arrived with uh, different uh, islamic sages in india and uh, some uh, courtiers also created something so we have to read the literature of delhi sultanat or sources of delhi sultanat and uh, in the mughal period definitely the golden period uh, of uh, some persian literature we found in mughal period like the creation of uh, abdur rahim khan khana the creation of faji and his elder, uh, younger brother abul fazal and the important translation work like razmanama the translation of mahabharata by faji and important uh, contents also actually described by uh, translated by abul fazal important books so these contents actually we have to uh, compile in this section okay and now the term for south indian literature south indian literature we have to concentrate mainly at three topics or three section संगम लिटरेचर चोला लिटरेचर एंड विजयनगर लिटरेचर एंड यू नो संगम लिटरेचर इज दू कैन से ओरिजिनेशन ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट ओरिजिनेशन ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट कंटेंट्स ऑफ तमिल ओके द फर्स्ट टाइम एक्चुअली ऑल थ्री संगम टू प्लेस इन मदुराई दू कैन से दैदरिंग ऑफ तमिल स्कॉलर्स तमिल सेज एंड हु क्रिएटेड अ लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट्स but we couldn't have uh, the contents of first sangam we have uh, the contents of second sangam that was tolkapiyam created by tolkapiyar the first grammar book of tamil but you should know it the third sangam in the third sangam important contents actually compiled 
by the name a tutogai. The togai means uh, actually union. Then a tutogai, eight poetry books, romantic poetry books. Nari nai, kalinto hai, kalindo hai, ena nuru, purna nuru, enguru nuru. Padi padal pe di chutu patu. Nadu bhat. I will give you the technique to remember it, to memorize it, okay? So, and the etu to gai plus patu to patu, patu patu is equal to malakki nakku, malakki nakku. NCRD may be our project which contains so. And uh, all these 18 poetry books actually be find in second sangam oh sorry ah yes yeah, second sangam no 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 third sangam third sangam and apart from these sangam books actually we have to concentrate at epic of sangam age okay sangam age uh, teen Sangam to teen, uh, three epic books is a very, very well, three books are very, very important. Number one, Chilpa Dikaram, Mani Meklai, and Shiva Kajinta Mani. Okay, some people are also adding Valai Pathi, do be a do be, but we concentrate on the teen. Chilpa Dikaram, Mani Meklai, and Shiva Kajinta Mani. And, uh, in teen epic ke book ke alave ek aur bhi hai that was Tirukudal created by Tiruvalluvar which is also called the Gita of uh, South India it is a, also full of good verses like Srimad Bhagavad Gita and Abul Kalam was always actually having the book uh, Tirukural and Gita. So these contents should be described in Sangam literature and the, in the Chola literature you should know it that some, the golden period of Tamil was definitely Chola period. Chola period was the golden period. And this may be very important to learn. Okay? The Kamban, Kamban bhi padna hai, Kutten bhi padna hai, Polendi bhi padna hai. Trinity of Tamil literature. Okay. So, Janith, the origination period, we can say the Sangam literature, Sangam age, but the Janith of Tamil literature was definitely in Chola period. And uh, Vijayanagar period was also the golden period of Telugu language. And the Vijay Krishnadev Rai was the man who, who had been given patronage to various diggat in his court that was called Ast Diggat. I mean to say we have to read the story of Ast Diggat in this period. Okay? So you should have uh, overall knowledge about the entire syllabus of art and culture and uh, don't believe in don't believe in cramming or padded fashion. Your culture should be exist in your vein. Tumare nash nash me room room me tumara Indian culture huna chahiye. And uh, enjoy your topics. Don't bother about you. Cultivate interest in this module. God bless you. Take care.